friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday, happy Memorial Weekend. I am back today with another weekly WW weigh-in workshop topic. I'm gonna to share how my week went and I'm also going to be sharing with you my new favorite protein packed snack. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you are new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do these weigh-ins every single Friday so you don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories. Whether you're on WW or not, highly, highly recommend knowing where you should fall calorically and macronutrient-wise every single day. If you want to talk with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group, a community that would love, love, love to have you is also linked down in that description box. So let's get into this week's WW workshop topic, how my week went, my weigh-in, and my new favorite protein packed snack. Hope you had a fantastic week. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments what your plans are for Memorial Weekend. I think we're having some friends over on Saturday night just for a quick little barbecue and maybe a fire out in the fire pit, but it's going to be a weekend of working in the yard. Low key, Troy actually goes back to work after being off three months on medical leave on Sunday. So we need to gear up for that and make sure that we are ready to go for him to go back to work. My week was really good this last week. I am nailing this May challenge. That has been such a game changer for me to have something to look forward to, new goals to shoot for. I feel like I've really started to develop some new, really healthy habits. I've been staying in my calories every single day, double tracking with points. I'm moving my body more, more than I ever have before, at least 30 minutes every single day. I'm always, always drinking my gallon of water. I'm saying nice things to myself every day, and I've really, really been focused on getting in my protein. I find for me that when I am eating my optimal protein levels, I am more satisfied. I crave food a lot less. I don't go into my next meal super hungry where I overindulge. So that's been a new healthy habit that I've also developed during the May challenge. A lot of you reach out and ask me how I get my protein in every day. How the heck do I eat so much protein? One way that I like to get in protein, especially after a workout or as the weather starts to get warmer is in the form of a protein shake. I don't really care for the ones that come in bottles or cartons. I actually prefer to make mine myself at home. I like to add my favorite nut-based milk, my favorite fruits, any additional items for some nutrient benefits like chia seeds or hemp seeds to my smoothies. You know I've been making protein shakes for a very long time, but I want to share with you a new recipe that I've been making that has become a fast favorite. You know my love for Live Well plant-based protein. This protein is top-notch. It is the best on the market for taste as well as texture for plant-based protein. What I love the most about it is it's complete. A lot of the whey proteins and plant-based proteins on the market aren't actually complete proteins. This one has all of its amino acids and chains intact, which makes it the best option when it comes to a protein powder. It's not one of the fake proteins, as I like to call them, because it is a complete protein. The vanilla is my favorite. I like all of the flavors. There's vanilla, chocolate, natural, and coconut. I use the vanilla protein. It's only one point per scoop, and it packs 17 grams of protein. I generally just whip this up in my little magic bullet, so I'll add my one scoop of protein powder, my one cup of nut-based milk. You can really use any milk that you want. I like to pop in a half of a frozen banana because that gives my protein shake that sweet creamy texture. I'll add in about half of a cup of my favorite frozen fruit or whatever frozen fruit sounds good but the game changers for this protein shake are the little bit of vanilla extract 
and a teaspoon of chia seeds. Chia seeds are a great way to get in protein, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. You don't taste them in the smoothie. They just really help with the texture. So this is my new all-time favorite protein shake. I will link this recipe down in the description box for you, as well as Live Well Protein. I know a lot of you have purchased it and love it as much as I do, but I will link it with a discount down in the description box for you as well. So overall my week, my month of May has been going fantastic. If you watch all of my weigh-in videos, you know that I have consistently lost weight every week during the month of May, which has been amazing. But before I jump into this week's weigh-in, let's chat a little bit about the WW Workshop topic. We're still in the Get Stronger series. Today's topic is say goodbye to critical self-talk and hello to a stronger mind. This topic goes hand in hand with my May challenge. It's all about self talk, positive self-talk. Like I mentioned, I've been saying nice things to myself all month long. I've been writing little notes to myself that are positive affirmations, and it's really made a huge difference in my mindset. On those days that I feel discouraged, or maybe the scale doesn't give me the number that I want, all of these positive affirmations have really just made my mindset in a better place to accept some of the things that I just can't change when it comes to a weight loss journey. When you're coming up with these positive self-talk points or these self-affirmations, Think about things that you would say to a friend. What would you tell a friend when they were struggling with their weight loss? Or what if they had a great number on the scale? What are some of the positive things that you would say to a friend? Now talk to yourself in that exact same way. Say things like, I can overcome this. I can succeed in my weight loss journey. I am strong. I am healthy. I am beautiful. Jot down a few positive self affirmations and put them in places that you'll see them on a regular basis. So I've been writing them on sticky notes and putting them on my computer monitor or on my planner or places that I see every single day. And when I'm feeling bummed out or sad or disappointed, those little sticky notes really truly brighten up my day. And truthfully, studies show that being kind to yourself reaps positive rewards. And we know how big our mindset plays a role in our weight loss. So the bottom line is talk to yourself like you would talk to someone you love or a close friend. So now let's jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I said, I have been killing the challenge. I'm so, so incredibly happy that I did this. If you would be interested in more of these types of challenges, if it's helping you build new habits, stay on track, be successful, I would love to continue to host these. It truly has been a big game changer for me and I'm so incredibly grateful that that so many of you have joined right along with me. It's been so fun seeing all of your posts over in my Facebook group. So don't forget to head over, join me on Facebook. So for the last weigh-in of May 2021, I cannot believe that the month of May is almost over. I am so excited to report that when I stepped on the scale today, I am down an additional 1.2 pounds. I will go ahead and put here on the screen my total weight loss for the month of May. You guys, this is the most I've lost in a single month so far in 2021. This challenge and being on track and moving my body and drinking my water and saying positive things to myself and consuming my new favorite protein shake has really played a big part in the overall success of my weight loss in the month of May. So I'm absolutely positively thrilled with how the month played out for me. And now I want to hear from you guys. How was your month of May? Did you do the challenge? Did you gain? Did you lose this week? Let me know down in the comments what your plans are for Memorial weekend. I just can't wait to hear from you guys. I love chatting with you in interacting with you in the comments. If you enjoyed this week's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you here. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Links, discount codes, to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group. Definitely head over and join us if you want to take part in any future challenges are all linked down in the description box. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Happy Memorial weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Barbecue, have a nice cold beer, whatever the case may be for you. Just enjoy your holiday weekend and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul.